There is one thing that may be just as important as your tithe and your promise. Your envelope. Yep, the virtual or regular envelope in which you inform your tithe and promise. You may think this is a strange affirmation, but stay with me. While some church members prefer to remain anonymous regarding how much they give to church, filling out your regular or virtual envelope is crucial for two reasons. First, no envelope means no receipt. The Adventist Church operates a worldwide, reliable auditing system in which receipts are a very important part of the church's accountability. So if you do not expect a receipt, which is your right, how can the auditors check if the tithe funds are being handled as intended? Second, the 10% you are planning to give as tithe may not be considered tithe unless you provide that information in the envelope. As you know, the amount you are planning to give as tithe will only be considered God's tithe if it is given according to His directions, if it is the right percentage, exactly 10% of your income or increase, if it is brought to the right place, the biblical storehouse, and if it is applied according to God's specific direction, exclusively for the support of the approved ministry. But if you don't stipulate on the envelope that what you are delivering is God's tithe, the church's treasurer may record it differently, delivering it to another destination, one not intended by God. It would then no longer be tithe. Now, as you return your tithe and give your promise, remember those three important points. First, bring them to the place established by God, which is His storehouse. Then, remember to also include your personal information on the virtual or regular envelope, entitling yourself to receiving a receipt. Finally, remember also to identify in the envelope what is God's tithe and what is your offering, assuring that the funds will reach the correct destination, one that was established by the Lord. May we put our desires last and God first.